Well, I've joined a team. I've actually been in, in post just over a year now, and there is a, a well-established BBC team covering health uh, online for radio and for TV news bulletins, and the BBC created a new role of health editor, and I came to it from an economics background and business back covering businesses. Now, you might think, well, what is the link? Well, actually, there is a large part of the job which is the future of the NHS, how it's going to be funded, how the money is spent, uh, the politics around the NHS. It's a fascinating subject. The, the NHS is held in very high regard by um, the British people. Uh, at the time of the Olympics in 2012, the opening ceremony had the NHS as a, as a key part of it. And you know, it, it is, it's a hugely valued and, and respected institution. So I, I consider it a great privilege to be in a position to cover uh, how the NHS evolves, given the challenges of a growing population, an ageing population, more treatments becoming available, um, how the NHS maybe spends money uh, both on its own providers and also the use of private providers. There are a lot of issues around all this which I'll certainly be focusing on. Well, I found coming into the health world from an economics background where stats is part of everyday life, the, the provision of statistics is a bit variable and it takes quite a lot to drill into the data. And I think part of my role and, and colleagues at the BBC is to, if you like, keep the pressure on for transparency and for data to be published in a really accessible way for the general public, for patients and taxpayers. And you know, one example is deficits within the trust sector, the provider sector, two different regulators publishing data at different times. It was never clear when it was going to come out. Well, that I think is going to have to change and I think it may well change with the appointment of new regulator NHS improvement. The ONS, Office for National Statistics, if it says it's going to publish data at 9.30 on a given day, it will. Same with the Bank of England. I think so. There are lessons to be learned for the NHS on that. And I think there has been improvement, but um, certainly something I feel very strongly about. Data is so important when you're assessing the performance of a, of a public service and in, and in terms of what sort of outcomes there are. Well, personally, I find Twitter extremely useful as a news feed. Just, just hearing what people have got to say and interacting, as you suggest, that inter interacting with certain people who've got really important opinions, interacting with viewers of the BBC. Now, it's not always possible to do that. And actually, on a given day, if you get a lot of tweets on a subject, then you just can't respond to all of them. But in terms of hearing what's going on, because the, the NHS is around the UK, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, as well as England, there's a lot of small things happening which could become big things. And you, you don't get a big breaking national news story, but you might hear about it on Twitter. Facebook is also you know, very useful. Um, I know that the team at the BBC, you know, the Facebook page is extremely important. So I'd say social media as a journal, journalist is, is a challenge, but it's really exciting because we can hear so much about what's really going on in the NHS and the health world. And I would encourage people, you know, just keep tweeting, keep copying me and I can't always respond, but yeah, massively important. Well, I, I consider it a great privilege to be the BBC's health editor, paid for by um, uh, the, the, the licence fee payer and, and performing a public service. And I think it is my job to make judgments, but also to report on what's happening, report different parts of a debate. Now, there are some very charged debates at the moment within the NHS. For example, the junior doctors, row with the government, the debate over the Health and Social Care Act and its impact, where actually to take a side would not be right for the BBC. The BBC is not there to take sides in debates. It's to try and assess, but also to reflect views. And I think if I can do that, it won't always be to everyone's liking, but to be as, as, as fair and accurate and dispassionate as possible while using judgment to try to sum up where we are with the debate is the best I can do. But it's, 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 it's fantastic that people feel so strongly about the NHS in, in a democracy and are prepared to state their views. And I'm, I'm delighted at the end of this meeting, the number of people who came up just wanted to talk. And, and that's great. If we can perform a role in democratic debate about the NHS and health in general around the UK, then, then that's, uh, that's going to be a great privilege. Lovely.